This is a Texan PL380 that uh, I've uh, just had for, I guess, probably two or three months. It's a fairly recent acquisition here. It's available, um, I've seen it on eBay and also Amazon typically for less than, less than $50. It is very similar to the PL606, which I also own and have um, uh, done a video of before. And just for comparison purposes, this is how the, uh, the PL606 compares in size with the PL380. The uh, 380 is just a little bit bigger. Um, this particular radio uh, uses the, um, the uh, Silicon Labs uh, SI4734 uh, DSP chip as does uh, a lot of uh, radios uh, currently coming out of, uh, out of Asia which means that it's um, very sensitive and very uh, selective. And this particular radio is uh, is becoming a favorite of uh, those who like to do DXing on the AM broadcast band. Um, to give you an idea about um, the uh, the uh, the digital signal processing, uh, this button down here, this one right here, I should say, gives you a number of different bandwidths. You can cut the bandwidth all the way down to uh, to one kilohertz if you're DXing and uh, needing to uh, uh, separate uh, very nearby stations. And I'm inclined to agree based on the uh, the uh, playing around that I've done with it, I'm inclined to agree that um, uh, it is just excellent on medium wave, uh, somewhat better than uh, some of the other radios. Although the difference is fairly slight because any radio that uses that SI4734 DSP chip is going to be a very good radio for, uh, uh, for DXing, especially on, uh, on medium wave. Another thing that's interesting about this radio is that uh, a lot of people have done some work on uh, development of uh, uh, external antennas for the medium wave band, uh, ferrite sleeve loop antennas, uh, uh, bigger loop stick antennas, etc. And so I would direct you, uh, for information on that, I would direct you to uh, Yahoo Groups and look for a group called Ultralight DX, all one word, Ultralight DX. But having said that, uh, this radio is very good with the uh, uh, with the built-in loop stick antenna on uh, on medium wave. The uh, the uh, carrying case for it is uh, is kind of nice. Uh, I'll uh, back up a little bit so that you can see this. Um, it also has a nice little uh, pocket right here for the uh, for the manual. Grab the manual right quick. It uh, the manual is small enough that it just kind of slides right in there, and uh, so you can take the radio with you and have the manual right there. If you're anything like me, you have to keep referring back to the manual from time to time uh, to remember how to uh, how to operate it. Up here on, on the display, the uh, what you see on the display is very similar to the uh, to the PL606 in that uh, we have uh, signal strength uh, in dB and uh, signal to noise ratio. This is one of my local stations, so obviously it has a uh, has strong signal. If I uh, reorient the radio, uh, the signal strength will vary quite a bit due to the directionality of the, of the, um, the built-in loop stick. And like most of these radios, it uh, has uh, uh, various functions to uh, scan the band and this, uh, this ETM function, you'll see where it says ETM up there. If I, uh, if I hold down the, uh, the ETM button, it will scan uh, whatever band I'm on and uh, quickly determine uh, what frequencies have um, uh, a station that's audible and uh, stored into memory. And um, so what you do is uh, now that it's finished scanning, it beeps and uh, 
Now there's a now this is a, I'm making this in the daytime, so we would expect mostly local stations, but here's a station in Cincinnati, and then I just tune the uh, the tuning knob to um, this is a this is a local here. This station here is in Columbus, Ohio, which is about um, um, probably 175 uh, air miles from me. It's another local. This is a station in uh, Nashville. So a very uh, a very sensitive radio and uh, uh, a lot of fun on uh, medium wave the Xing. Note that uh, we have a tuning knob over here and volume control over here. So uh, a lot of people like to have uh, radios that have good old-fashioned uh, knobs for uh, uh, for uh, adjusting common things like tuning and volume. This radio here, uh, I'm not uh, experiencing much uh, overload on um, on FM, which is a pleasant surprise because I live in an area that has a number of very strong FM stations nearby that uh, that put in uh, very strong signals to my location. So a lot of radios just overload. You'll hear uh, one of the local stations on um, on um, uh, you know every <laughs> every frequency, so it's nice to uh, to have a radio that's not so subject to uh, overload. Now this radio does not uh, pick up single sideband signals, as the uh, which is the also true for the PL uh, 606. It also does not have an external antenna jack. Uh, what I found, uh, I commonly will uh, hook these radios to an external antenna, and uh, I did that with this, and it uh, it really got um, severely overloaded on short wave. So it's a very very uh, sensitive radio. Uh, what you can do though is the um, is that uh, with the radio, uh, you will typically get, or at least I did, uh, a 13 foot piece of wire that has a little clip on it, and what you can do is actually attach this clip to the whip and it just snaps on there okay and now the um, the other end of it has uh, this and so what you can do is attach that let's say to a curtain in a window or something and then you have a, uh, a 13 foot um, antenna and uh, the radio will pick up a lot of uh, a lot of shortwave stations with uh, with that. Uh, well, first of all, it, it picks up a lot of shortwave stations uh, when when conditions are good, uh, just with the built-in whip. But then you can also do this uh, this add-on antenna. So this is the uh, the uh, Texan PL380. Very interesting uh, AM FM shortwave portable uh, using the uh, the Silicon Labs 4734 DSP chip and generally easily available.